Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, and I'm really excited to talk about superpowers today. They've always fascinated me since I was a kid. Hey Sarah, I'm Jack. I agree. Superpowers are incredibly intriguing. It's going to be fun discussing our favorite ones. Nice to meet you both. I'm Peter, and I've always daydreamed about having superpowers. Let's dive into these questions and explore the possibilities. If I could have any superpower, I would choose teleportation. Imagine being able to instantly travel anywhere in the world. It would make exploration so much easier and convenient. That's a fantastic choice, Sarah. If I had to pick, I would go with telekinesis. The ability to move objects with my mind would come in handy for various situations and tasks. Both of your choices sound amazing. If I had to choose, I would love to have the power of healing. Being able to cure illnesses and injuries would be incredibly rewarding. Using teleportation for good, I would help people in need by quickly transporting them to safety during emergencies or natural disasters. I could also assist in delivering medical supplies to remote areas. With telekinesis, I would use my power to clean up the environment by moving trash and debris into designated recycling areas. I could also assist in construction projects, making building processes more efficient. If I had the power of healing, I would work in hospitals and clinics, providing immediate relief to patients and reducing suffering. I would also use my abilities to support medical research and find cures for diseases. One limitation of teleportation could be the inability to teleport to places you've never been before. It might require some initial knowledge or experience of the destination. That's a good point, Sarah. With telekinesis. A drawback could be the mental strain of moving heavy objects or the need for precise concentration to avoid accidents. While healing could have immense benefits, a limitation might be the emotional toll it takes on the healer, constantly witnessing pain and suffering. When it comes to inspiring superheroes, I've always admired Wonder Woman. She embodies strength, compassion, and stands up for justice. She's a true role model. For me, Spider-Man has been a significant inspiration. He shows that even with great power, there's a responsibility to protect others and use your abilities for good. I find Superman inspiring. He uses his powers selflessly to save lives. And despite being immensely powerful, he remains humble and cares deeply for humanity. If I could combine multiple superpowers, I would choose teleportation and telepathy. I could instantly transport myself and communicate with others mentally, making me a great asset in times of crisis. Combining telekinesis and time manipulation would be incredible. I could move objects and rewind time when necessary, correcting mistakes or preventing accidents. Healing and super strength would be a powerful combination. I could heal others while also protecting and defending those in need against any threats or dangers they might face. Having a superpower would definitely change everyday life. It would make tasks more efficient, reduce travel time, and open up new possibilities for exploration and helping others. Absolutely, Sarah. Interactions with others would be different too. People might look up to you or seek your help, and it would be important to use your powers responsibly and with empathy. I agree, Jack. There would be ethical considerations and responsibilities that come with having a superpower. 
It's crucial to prioritize the greater good and not let personal desires or temptations sway your actions. If everyone in the world had a superpower, society would be vastly different. It could lead to a more balanced distribution of power, but it would also require establishing rules and regulations to prevent misuse. Imagine the creative and unique ways people would use their superpowers. From solving global issues to finding innovative solutions for everyday problems, the possibilities would be endless. Having a superpower would undoubtedly affect relationships. Friends and family might see you differently, and romantic partners would have to understand the responsibilities and challenges that come with your abilities. The superpower that I find particularly fascinating is time manipulation. Being able to pause, rewind, or fast-forward time would give you incredible control over events and allow for better decision-making. I'm fascinated by shape-shifting. The ability to change your appearance and blend into any environment would be useful for espionage, gathering information, and even for personal growth. I find the power of telepathy intriguing. The ability to read minds and understand others on a deeper level could foster empathy, improve communication, and help build stronger connections with people. If I could give someone else a superpower, I would choose my younger brother. I would give him the power of superintelligence, as it would unlock his full potential and help him achieve great things. I would choose my best friend and give her the power of invisibility. It would allow her to explore her introverted side without feeling judged or overwhelmed by social situations. I would give my parents the power of teleportation. It would enable them to visit family and friends more often, even if they live far away, and create stronger bonds with loved ones. Having a superpower could open up unique career opportunities. For example, with teleportation, I could work as an emergency responder, providing immediate assistance in disaster-stricken areas. With telekinesis. I could excel in fields like architecture or engineering, where precise control over objects could revolutionize design and construction processes. Having the power of healing would make a significant impact on the medical field. I could pursue a career as a doctor or researcher, advancing health care and saving countless lives. While having superpowers comes with incredible abilities, there are downsides and challenges to consider. The pressure to always use your powers for good and the potential isolation from others who can't relate to your experiences. Exactly, Sarah. It might also attract unwanted attention from those who want to exploit your powers or from individuals who fear you. Finding a balance between your personal life and responsibilities as a superhero would be a constant challenge. Additionally, there would be the risk of becoming complacent or over-reliant on your powers, neglecting personal growth and development. It's important to remember that superpowers don't define who we are as individuals. Our character, values, and actions matter more than any extraordinary abilities. Absolutely, Sarah. Superpowers should be seen as tools to make a positive impact. But it's our humanity and how we use those powers that truly defines us. Well said, Jack. At the end of the day, it's our choices and the way we treat others that determine whether we're heroes or not, regardless of having superpowers.